हेलो फ्रेंड्स निफ्टी रीचिंग वन लैक पॉइंट बाय 2030 लेट अस फाइंड आउट ऑल पॉसिबिलिटीज अबाउट इट इन फेब्रुवरी 2021 वन ऑफ द मोस्ट सक्सेसफुल इन्वेस्टर्स इन इंडिया सेड इन एन इंटरव्यू दैट निफ्टी कुड रीच 90,000 टू वन लैक लेवल्स बाय 2030 as you know nifty is currently around 15000 level so it has to multiply by 6 to 7 times in the next 9 years if the prediction has to come true in 2014 rakesh junjunwala one of the most successful investor in india had said that nifty could reach 1 lakh 25000 mark by 2030 however now in 2021 he said that he expects around 1 lakh mark for nifty in the next 9 years now let us go through the sequence of nifty going up or coming down 2000 nifty closing level 1 2 6 and it was minus 15% close 2001 minus 14% close 2002 plus 3 2007 plus 55 going further 2008 whopping minus 52% and 2009 76% up and going down 2015 it was minus 4% i am talking about a particular year going up or down not cumulative 2016 plus 3 and 2020 plus 15 nifty levels november 1995 1000 April 2021, 14,900. CAGR for 25 years and four months is 11.25 percent. Now let us look at the possibilities of Nifty reaching one lakh mark by 2030. Today's current level 15,000. April 2021. If it has to reach one lakh. by april 2030 as predicted by rakesh junjunwala in 9 years it has to appreciate per annum 23.47% cagr if it has to reach 1 lakh by april 2031 in 10 years time it has to appreciate by 20.89% per annum every year cagr if it has to reach 1 lakh By April 2032, 11 years, 18.82 percent per annum CAGR. April 2033, 12 years, then it has to appreciate by 17.13 percent per annum CAGR. Suppose we assume that it is going to appreciate at the current level of 11.25 percent CAGR, then. as akesh junjunwala said it's going to reach in april 2030 it may take april 2037 after 16 years to reach the level of 1 lakh nifty nifty 50 index consists of 50 stocks the cagr of the index over the long term has been around 11 to 12% per annum but if you select good individual stocks and monitor them regularly you can expect between 15 to 25% per annum on an average in the long run what i am saying is if you are investing instead of nifty in good individual stocks chances of growth are far higher now we are going to give you some reasons for stock markets to appreciate in the long run first one india's gdp growing over the years between 5 to 10% per annum number 2 more number of people investing in our stock markets on a regular basis currently only around 3 to 4 crore investors in stocks and 6 to 7 crores in mutual funds third reason other investment alternatives such as bank fds ppf etc are not giving sufficient returns and day by day the interest rates are coming down fourth one investors will reduce investing in physical assets such as real estate due to non affordability and lower returns and very poor liquidity in india only 3 to 4% invest in stocks 
whereas in developed countries around 40 to 50 percent invest in stocks directly or indirectly via mutual funds. Hence, this trend is likely to happen even in India in the years to come. Around 30 percent of your total asset can be invested in stocks as long as you know how to invest and manage stocks in a very scientific manner. Example, if your total assets are worth rupees 30 lakhs, up to 9 lakhs can be invested in stocks for long term in a very very comfortable manner. In the long term, markets are sure to go up as India's GDP grows and we become one of the biggest economies of the world. The question is whether you can invest in the right stocks and you have the patience to hold on for long term by managing the ups and downs of the market in the short term. If you are not the member of Dr. Bharat Chandra channel, this is the time to press the subscribe button and bell icon too. The video is good, press like button. And if you think that the video is worth sending to your friends, please share it. And also, if the video is good, in the comment section, please type good. We will be happy that our research video is liked by everybody. Thank you for watching the whole video. Bye-bye. All the best.